Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is January the, I think, 18th, 2021. Let's have a little social commentary here, something I really don't do much of online. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I just saw a show on Amazon Prime, One Night in Miami, from director Regina King. I'm giving this show five star, right? That's something I hardly do. I'm giving this show my highest rating possible. The show concerns the night Ali beats Liston, right? As it pertained to boxing, you know, I was, I was down. It involves what Ali did that night, right? He uh, is in a hotel room with Jim Brown, a guy who um, I was such a big fan of that years ago, I once attended a fundraiser at Jim Brown's house just so I could meet him, and I did. Right? He probably doesn't remember because I was one face in a crowd, but Jim Brown, right, uh, who wrote a book, Out of Bounds, that was one of the most influential books in my own life in the 1980s, right? Malcolm X, for whom I have a deep admiration. Ali, who's played by an actor named Eli Gori, who does the best Ali. I mean the best Ali. I have seen on film, right, in these recreations of Ali, and Sam Cooke, a guy who I've long looked up to. Now let's fast forward to the present. These are collectivist times with a lot of social censorship, right? Woke culture, cancel culture, People getting banned from Twitter, other forums for talking out online, including influential politicians. Now, I feel that in this environment, while we're under lockdown, and understand, I'm in Santa Clara County in Northern California, where we are very locked down right? Very locked down. I believe in this environment, it is very important that people express themselves, whether the views are popular or not. Now, I'm in my 50s, and like everyone listening here, I've learned a lot along the way, right? I'm not the same person I was at 15, at 20, at 25, at 30. Now, of the four men, Jim Brown, Ali, Malcolm X, and Sam Cooke, and I have a deep respect for all of them, right? Each of them played a big role in my life at different times, just from a mentor who you don't meet point of view, right? Let me point out too, my father, Jim Brown fan, was so heavily into Ali as well, right? He was more Jim Brown than Ali, but he was so heavily into Ali that he himself went to an Ali book signing and was able to meet Ali. Well, today, 2021, from these 50-odd-year-old eyes, this show has one revolutionary who, in my opinion, is far more impactful, and I mean far more impactful, than the others. And that revolutionary is Sam Cooke. Now, they have Sam Cooke on the show, drinking and smoking in front of the other folks, including teetotalers Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali. Right here, Sam Cooke, he's not supposed to be the hero. <laughs> he, 
he might be there for scenery, right? He's there historically in the play. You could tell he's not really supposed to be the role model. Again, he's drinking and smoking. He has some liquor in his guitar case. But understand, and just hear me here on my next sentence. He's the hero because he's the capitalist who believes in free markets and private property rights. He's fully aware, right? This is the mid 60s. This is the South, right? They're in Florida. He's fully aware of the discrimination around him. He deals with it. He is not an employee. He owns his own business. As Diddy, and I'm going to drop some names here because I want people to research the names I drop, especially young people. Right? I'm not a celebrity, but sometimes young people recognize me off YouTube. They come up to me. They want to talk to me about their lives. I sense Generation Z. Right? It's very different than millennials. Right? They're very different than my generation. They have no idea how the world was before cell phones before the internet, when long distance calls meant either calling collect or having, as I did in school, a fistful of coins to pump into a payphone when they said, you are out of time, right? But let's get back to Sam Cooke. As Diddy puts it, he signs the front of checks not the back of checks. In this room of very influential guys, Jim Brown, Ali, Malcolm, he thinks differently than the others. He has not just skin in the game, he has financial skin in the game. Let me drop another name here. Nassim Taleb. Fooled by Randomness is one of the most important books I've read in my life. I encourage young people to track him, which you can do here online. Sam Cooke's message, and he says it clearly in this show, which gets my highest rating, One Night in Miami is not different than Rich Dad, Poor Dad's Robert Kiyosaki's message. Another name to look up. Has his own YouTube channel, which I track. And Jim Rogers. Legendary investor. Right? Understand. Rogers admits his goal wasn't even to get wealthy. His goal was economic freedom. That was it. Once he had enough money, Jim Rogers left the stage in his 30s to travel around the world. Right? His goal was to simply have enough economic freedom. We didn't have to work for anyone. He could think for himself. He could do what he wanted. That's Sam Cooke's goal. That's who Sam Cooke was. In this age of censorship and regulation, in my opinion, the revolutionaries, the people who are not just trying to change society, but who are helping society, are not who you think. My message to younger people is to pursue economic freedom ownership, study markets, and price movements. 
both here and abroad. Right? Think in terms of demographics, market potential, market size. I don't understand how anyone can be alive in this time and not be aware of and focused on the Chinese market and the Indian market, right? Both countries, of course, with far more people than the United States. Invest, build. If you're looking for heroes, seek out the self-employed. Seek out small business owners, the pizza shop owner, the newspaper stand owner, the person driving a Hyundai who owns Tesla stock while he builds his own business, whatever it is. Now, as you watch One Night in Miami, which I can't recommend highly enough. The show really hit me. There's going to be a lot of dialogue. There's going to be a lot of ideas. Make a note of the dialogue. Make a, make a note of the ideas. But if you're going to focus on one person, one, focus on Sam Cook. They are not trying to make him the hero. As I said, he's smoking and drinking. If you're watching the show with impressionable young kids, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, he's not the character who you would immediately identify as the person you want your kid following. But in the long run, he is. That's how I see it. I know many don't agree with me. I have many friends who would view this very differently. But that's how I see it. Let me hear from you. YouTube is an interactive forum, right? If you have seen this show, One Night in Miami, or if you have views on Jim Brown, Ali, Malcolm, and Sam Cooke, then I hope you leave those comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.